Welcome to Live at Five. Thanks for joining us. Now, what we're going to do the rest of the week is, I really felt a burden to kind of tell you what happened to Jesus leading up to his crucifixion. You know, when he gave the Last Supper, instructions for the Last Supper, he said, do this in remembrance of me. And what that word there is, catch the significance. Remember what I did for you. Remember how I suffered in order to bring you salvation. So that's what we want to do for the next four days. We'll get back to Colossians and finish Colossians next week. But the next four days, I want us to deal with what Jesus went through. Today, we want to pick up the story after Christ had been arrested. And we're going to look at the Jewish authorities, what they did to him uh, through his trials. So what happened is after Jesus was arrested, he was taken to a man by the name of Annas. Now, the Gospel of John is the only one who tells us about this. But he's taken to a man by the name of Annas. Now, Annas was the power in the temple area. See, Annas had been the high priest for about 10 years, probably about 15 years before this, somewhere in that area. But he'd been the high priest for 10 years. Now, in the Jewish mind, when you're a high priest, you're high priest for, for life. It's like a Supreme Court justice. You know, you're, you're, a, you're a judge for the rest of your life. Same thing with high priest. But the Romans, who controlled that area, uh, took him out of his seat and put somebody else in there. But Annas kept control. Five of his sons would become high priests. And now Caiaphas, who Jesus will go before, is the high priest and he is Annas's son-in-law. So there's another thing you need to understand. Annas was a guy who controlled the temple. In the temple, they had all this uh, graft and all this stealing and lying and cheating people out of money. And he got the money from that. He got the proceeds from that. He was a very, very wealthy man. And so Jesus twice, we're told in the scriptures, that he went in there and cleaned out that area. So Annas did not like Jesus at all. And he wanted Jesus and he wanted him dead. So the first person that Jesus sees is a man named Annas. You also see him called in the book of Acts, the high priest, uh, both Caiaphas and him. Now, officially, was, there was only one high priest, and that was Caiaphas. But Annas was the real power, and they still called him the high priest. So he goes before Annas, and Annas gives them permission to liquidate Jesus, to kill Jesus. So Jesus then is taken to the Sanhedrin. Now, this is the middle of the night. No trials were to take place in the middle of the night. They were to be taking place during the daytime. But they didn't do that with Jesus. They took Jesus and they took him in front of the Sanhedrin. And Caiaphas, the high priest, was there and the Sanhedrin. And they, uh, they tried to get witnesses to testify against Jesus, but nobody could agree. There was, there was no witnesses. They hadn't done anything wrong. And so finally, Caiaphas places uh, Jesus under oath. And again, you were, in that system, you were not made to testify against yourself, just like our ju judicial system. But they did that. They made Jesus testify against himself, which violated their rules. And so Caiaphas places Jesus under oath and asks him if he was the Messiah, the Son of God. And Jesus says, I am. Now Caiaphas tears his robes, which again violated their rules. And they all screamed and yelled and wanted his death right there. And so they condemned him, and then they beat him. They punched him, they slapped him, they spit in his face. And then they took him and put him in a holding cell until the next day. The next day, the one that finally became daytime, they had to have another trial because the trial they had at night was illegal. So they had to make it like they were going by the book. And so they had a trial during the daytime, the second trial. And again, of course, Jesus was condemned. And so he was condemned to death at this time. He was beat up. In fact, the, the Gospels tell us that when he appears before Pilate, Pilate goes, boy, you guys really did a number on this guy. Um, those are my words. But that's what happened to him. So the only problem was the Sanhedrin could condemn somebody, but they could not carry out the death penalty. Only the Romans could do that. The Romans said, if you're going to kill anybody, if you're going to condemn anybody, they have to go through us. So what happens next is Jesus then is taken to Pilate. Tomorrow, we'll look at what happens when Jesus goes before Pilate. 
you know, when I was studying this and looking this over, I'm just amazed at what, what Jesus Christ did for us and all the mistreatment, uh, the abuse that he took for you and for me. I just can't believe it, but I thank Jesus for it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to remember what your son did for us. Father, help us to catch what Jesus went through. Help us to understand it and to love you even more when we see our hearts and how wicked they are and, and, and all the things we've done wrong. But Jesus still loved us and provided a way for us to get right with you. Father, thank you. Father, take care of my brothers and sisters and uh, bring us all back next week. Correction, tomorrow, so that we can, uh, we can continue in our study. In Christ's name, amen. Thank you.